Hello, my name is Shay. Welcome back to the channel. It has been several months since I last filmed a reaction video, but it's my day off. Technically, I'm meant to be sick, but I have a concert to attend in a few hours and I decided to film a few reaction videos amongst making music and editing these vlogs for the Pino vlogs, for the Pins vlogs from late last year. But the video we're about to react to is titled Why We Moved to the Philippines, Better Women, Financial Freedom, Passport Bros. I'm guessing that's what these two dads in the thumbnail go by. I feel like YouTube has been listening to my inner thoughts by recommending me these videos. Not only that, I have been contemplating on moving to the Philippines for quite some time. The more I stay in Australia, the more I realize this probably isn't the place for me. So, uh, we're gonna watch this video. We're going to uh, take in these handsome young lads' thoughts. These look like Americans. They kind of remind me of myself based on the appearance. It's not very often I see the foreigners. They have to be foreigners if they're moving to the Philippines with a lot of tattoos. So I think I'm gonna be able to relate to this one and relate to these two dads, these brothers. I'm guessing they're related. I'm kind of just guessing right now, passport bros, that they could just be long time friends. But on that note, Let's get straight into it. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. What's good? We're out here in the Philippines right now. Where are we, though? Are if we in Manila or are we in Cebu? video explaining to you guys and telling you some of the reasons why. This looks like Manila. Like move to the Philippines and why we did it. And we want you guys to come join us here. Yes, guys, you need to come check it out, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I would say. I'm already that getting that number itch. Number one reason that was, was the real selling point for us was just the financial freedom. Uh, we're both six figure earners. We were in America blowing Americans bags, bro. blowing between Damn 10, bad, 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a month. Not even like living crazy either, you know. Oh mate, you guys gonna have to give me some advice because I'm <laughs> struggling in that department. Spending five thousand dollars on rent to get, you know, a, a nice house but like nothing True. out of this world astronomical. Yeah, and then also the pressure to like continue to compete so we're in million dollar house bro. and then we're like we need a bigger better house yep and then i had a hundred thousand dollar car and then i was just about to get a rolls royce and a mclaren yeah you know and so it's like it's just it's stressful just, bro. yeah it's just a very very high yeah high i'm gonna need some financial no advice from yeah, extremely stressful these two no brothers reason. yeah um so but you guys can see you could be here you could be clean for a lovely price yeah we're at a mall right downstairs wow. From right his condo. From I'm not even sure which mall this is. By the way, yeah, and uh, we come down here. It's so everything you need. Check it out. Mall stores. You can go on dates. There's shopping, entertainment. Um, so I would say that's that's a big reason. A lot yeah, of you guys. Pretty much the number one reason. Yeah, you know, and everyone in America, you think you need to make six figures, and then when you get to that six figure point, you're not even having that high quality yeah, of a life. Six figures ain't what it used to be. Especially if you're in a major city, yeah. you live True. okay. Yeah, man. And so that's one thing. Second reason is we all know this is very important to a, a man's happiness and fulfillment and uh, leisure. Yep. It's just dating. Yeah, man. Dating here. Yep. Yeah, yep. Man. You're dating not door. wrong. Dating You're definitely not wrong. So much better, guys. So less stressful. No games, you know. You can just be up front. And There's some right. games, though. <laughs> There's still <laughs> some games. It's just simple. It's cool. Very straightforward, guys. The women here are so traditional, so lovely, so scary. I have to admit, though, compared to dating in australia i can only really speak on perth because i'm in perth and i haven't dated outside of perth anywhere else in australia except for maybe actually no we're gonna stick to perth i'm not gonna say i went to the philippines to date i have what's the word a dip isn't the right word i ventured in the dating scene in the philippines and let's just say it is a lot easier than it is here i think people know what well filipinas know what they want more over there compared to here and that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, man, you can honestly like just come here if you want a girlfriend, man. Yeah, guys. Don't come here to mess around. No, just for come sure. here for a girlfriend, both because they're they're wonderful girlfriends, wonderful wives, man. Way more options as well. Yeah. Uh, yep. you know, a lot of just there's a lot of shaming in America. Say for example, yep. if a guy's not like at least bare minimum five ten, typically they put the six, six foot requirement yeah. marker on it. They just it's like it yeah, you pretty much hardly get any love. And as a foreigner based outside of America, looking in, especially on social media, we actually notice that. So the fact that you guys are confirming that's actually how it is is reassuring to me that America is not where I'm meant to be. Yeah. But uh, here, you can ask a woman like, how tall is a guy need to be? On average, you're gonna say at least they want him to be about five six. Yeah, man. So I mean. You know, okay. that's five, six. It's because everyone's like, short there. You're in the running. Yeah. 
girls are not going to discriminate and I've against seen you. a lot of short girls with like oh, yeah. guys that were their same height. I think Filipinos are just short in general because I notice whenever I'm in a crowd, I'm taller than most people. I only date tall guys. Literally, the shortest girls in America literally are saying they need to date a guy who's six foot, which is crazy. Literally, a dude that's like two feet taller than you. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. I think I've got a different mindset over there. There's not as much makeup. So when you see a girl out in the streets who's hot, which that's what, what she get, looks baby. like, you yep. know, and her what ego is not going to be inflated because she's not on the internet pretending to be like someone yeah, that she's not, not, and then taking that validation and letting it go to her head. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's like the the Tinder hoflation yeah. is not as bad because a lot of girls here don't even use dating apps. Yep. So I will say you do have to get your uh, no. They definitely use dating right? apps. It just might not be the you ones know, that you're looking for. You want to meet some attractive women, but they're very friendly and receptive. To talking to them, you yes. know, they actually like they stare at you, they giggle, yeah, and they want you to come approach cool, them. Man. So they send hardcore choosing signals, and uh, like it's like they're really into romance. So yeah. they get really excited when a, a foreigner comes up to them and like you know tries to introduce himself and wants to get to know them. Yep, it's the best, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I would say another reason is the wonderful culture. Come culture, the people out here, you can't. The people, the hospitality, and helpful yeah. they are, man. The people out here. Are Best guys, you yeah, experience dude. wonderful culture. There's so many beautiful sights to see, and if you come to places like Cebu, you have so much nature and waterfall. Is that where they are right now? Because I don't recognize oh, this place, so I'm just guessing it's Cebu because I haven't been to Cebu. Yeah, guys, really, you can't beat it. And then, not to mention, when you're out here, you're just like a stone's throw away from a lot of other cultures. So yeah. if we want to go. To, we might go to Thailand in a, like a week. Thailand is on my list, it's but like, it's like three, four hours. I got to go to Korea maybe in about a month or so. Hi. <laughs> and um little kid want to say what's up oh uh, yeah gonna go to korea you know Japan. uh japan's right there bali's right there so you know, perth is right here boys but i don't know if the girls are going to be what you're looking for so i'm just going to put that out there really close yeah man and uh basically all asia because you know they're super awesome yeah, exactly i mean honestly we can go on for hours and hours and hours but we thought we'd just share with you some of the main reasons. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, of course, make more videos like this. We're gonna yes. show you guys around. We have some uh, vlog channels as well. If you wanna see more of like yeah, the dating sure and the activities, you gotta get to interact with the locals more, maybe see what some of the girls are kind of like, the women. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be doing interviews and stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so look for all those links in the description below. Guys, get your Passport Bros and Red Pill merch. Passport Bros, so that's obviously what they go by. They may not uh, actually be brothers, channel, but like this video, we'll yeah, these days seem all right. I don't know what I was expecting What diving into this video. I kind of knew what the things that they were going to say, but as in personalities, it kind of varies with foreigners in the Philippines, but they seem all right. So I'm going to look into more content by the Passport Bros, but back to the topic at hand that's pretty much it to a t basically financial freedom culture you're close to other countries so you can venture out even when you come to the philippines or go to the philippines come to the philippines and say come to the philippines like i'm in the philippines right now and saying that i will be heading back very soon also look out for my vlogs that i'm posting from last year i've still got like another 20 philippines vlogs to edit so please go watch those because there's a lot that happened during my trip over there dating if you're looking at settling down and you're a foreigner i feel like i've said this before in my videos <laughs> but if you're a foreigner and you're just having terrible luck at finding the one for you in whatever country you're in i guarantee you'll find it in the philippines i don't know if it's the sun i don't know if it's the upbringing but for the penis make the perfect life partner and i think Dan has actually said this to me too. But after, you know, a few years of dating here and there, if there's one thing I've learned this year, and I only learned this maybe last month, yeah, I'm pretty much at the point where I know for a fact I'm going to end up settling down with a Filipina. And it may not be a Filipina that's in the Philippines or even Perth. She could be somewhere else around the world. But I know for a fact it's not going to be a Thai girl, an Australian girl, a Maldi girl, an American girl. It's going to be a Filipina. I don't know why I felt the need to share this. We did the overshare on this channel. If you want a better life than the one you're living right now, if you feel like you're at a standstill, you're feeling a bit lost, you don't really feel happy or sad, you're just, you're just here. Book a one-way flight to the Philippines and I guarantee you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the Passport Bros in the description below and I'll see you all in the next one.